مشنا عملاخ مريم ملية في طيبوثة نارا العملاخ مريخات المشي ومورخ بير تخرسي غيشو ناط مريم يلي تقالها صلح لابين حطاه هاشا وشاب الموثن الآمن My name is Yusuf Toma Mirkis. I am Iraqi, uh, born in 49, 1949. I was a Dominican father, and since uh, 15 months, I am uh, Bishop of Kirkuk and Suleymaniyah in Iraq. Uh, I used to be teacher of theology and writer and publisher of magazines. Uh, but uh, they asked me to, to, to be a bishop in this situation of Iraq, very difficult. So I think uh, the providence asked me to double my efforts. I thought when I will become bishop, I will take some rest of working 17 hours per day. But I think uh, the, the, uh, God makes some time jokes with, with us when he invited us to carry a heavier cross. Yes, the, the situation in Iraq since the invasion of Americans in 2003 uh, is becoming uh, worse and worse uh, because uh, Mr. Bremer, uh, uh, he, he uh, he destroyed the army, he destroyed the police, he, he gave the country to the looters and to, to the gangs. So those gangs, those looters, uh, could in 10 years organize themselves and become a state. That's exactly the, the resume of 10 years, 12 years of how ISIS or Daesh uh, could take the third of Syria and the third of Iraq and rule about eight million persons. Um, this is uh, incredible that what is happening now in Iraq and Syria occurs in 2015. We, we got uh, uh, many thoughts, false thoughts, 20 years ago that the future is always better, better than the past. But what's now, what we are affording in Iraq, and I don't think in Western countries they are aware of the, uh, the disease we, we, we have. I think the biggest disease in our society in the Middle East is the, the people uh, doesn't have immunity against, against what they hear and what they see. Everything becomes normal. Slaughtering people, cutting the heads of people. The first time, shock, but the third time becomes normal. And this makes me angry. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هيئة الرئاسة الموقرة زميلاتي وزملائي ممثلي الشعب العراقي سادة النواب بإمكانكم التضامن وقوفا في أماكنكم بإمكانكم التضامن وقوفا في أماكنكم نعم. أنا هنا أقف لا لألقي خطابا أمام الشعب العراقي بل لأترجم واقعا مريرا يعيشه اليزيديون الان في جبل سنجار سيد الرئيس نذبح تحت يافطه لا اله الا الله سيد الرئيس لحد الان خمسمائة شاب ورجل يزيدي ذبحوا سيدة السيده النائبه التزمي بالبيان الذي وافقت عليه سيد الرئيس نساؤنا تسبى نساؤنا تسبى وتباع في سوق الرق 
سيد رجاء ن... اخوان رجاء اخوان سيد النائب الان هناك حمله سي... اباده جماعيه على المكون اليزيدي سيد النائب بعيدة. نعم سيد الرئيس انا ملتزمه رجاء سيد الرئيس نعم. اهلي يذبحون اهلي يذبحون كما ذبح كل العراقيين ذبح الشيعه والسنه والمسيحيين والتركمان والشبك واليوم يذبح اليزيديين اخوان نحن نريد بعيدا عن كل الخلافات السياسيه نريد تضامنا انسانيا انا اتكلم هنا باسم الانسانيه انقذونا انقذونا 48 ساعة 30 ألف عائلة محصورة في جبل سنجار بدون ماء بدون أكل يموتون 70 طفل لحد الآن ماتوا من العطش والاختناق 50 شيخ مات من من الوضع المتردي نساؤنا تسبى كجرايا جاريات وتباع في سوق الرق سيد الرئيس نطالب البرلمان العراقي بالتدخل الفوري لإنقاذ هذه المذبحة 72 حملة إبادة جماعية على اليزيديين والآن تكرر في قرن الواحد وعشرين نذبح نبيت يباد دين كامل على وجه الأرض أخوان أنا أناشدكم باسم الإنسانية باسم الإنسانية أن تنقذونا سيد الرئيس أريد شكرا جزيلا شكرا جناب النائب السيد عباس البياتي نادي وابكي شكرا we we must not accept even if the 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 the, the crime is repeated uh, we, and and uh, those people who came those daesh or isis or uh, i s uh, all those are young the average is between 20 and 25 years you imagine those who want to change our world to make another kind of society, to put the women under the veil and uh, put them at home only making babies. This is very, very, very uh, serious thing. We are involved in it, but we cannot, we cannot afford this kind of mentality with, with, the, with what we have. We are now only trying to help those who need money, who need studying, who need uh, clothes, food. But uh, there is a big concern with mentalities in the world. Globalization is good, but now we have very bad globalization. Globalization of violence. And uh, this thing must be uh, taught in universities, must be analyzed by, by the intelligent philosophers, uh, those who, who try to find uh, a way out of this hell we are inside. We are, we are going to hell with those people who, who doesn't admit that other can be different different with, with as sex, as man and woman, different as uh, Christian or not Christian or Muslim, different as Yazidi. Uh, what happened to Yazidis is very, very bad. I have an, uh, uh, the number, uh, I don't think many people knows that 2,800 women were kidnapped from Yazidi villages in Iraq and sold like slaves in, in, uh, under the regime of uh, ISIS. This is very serious. We don't must, we, 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 do, we, we don't uh, think only, uh, only our brothers Christians are, uh, are under the persecution. No, no, every person who is persecuted is our brother. We must think of him. We must help those women, poor women, 
and I am very sad for them. Last week, somebody came, fled from Daesh. He said, I saw, I saw three Daesh men uh, wrapping a girl of nine years. This is a big sin. This is a crime. This must be known by everybody in the world. This is a very bad thing. If we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, 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 say it and, uh, and stop it, not only by throwing bombs, because the honor of humanity is, is uh, dirty now with those who are making this kind of act. Humanity, all humanity is sinner, responsible of what happening to those innocent children, innocent people, uh, Yazidi or other. This is, this is something huge. We must, we must help. I think everybody can, can give us a teeny piece of, uh, like the, the, the old woman of the gospel. Everything can do something. God sees the will and not the quantity. And uh, this is very important to remember it. Uh, some, some, uh, some journalists asked Mother Teresa, uh, uh, some, some say that you helped more than seven million people. She said, no, when I help somebody, I forget everybody. My target is him only. I am with him and our target is to help now, just now, what we can do. So we have to be like Mother Teresa, generous in our time, for the present suffering people. We cannot change the world by uh, only uh, by beautiful thoughts. No, changing our world starts now, right now, in this moment, what can I do? So uh, I think if everybody uh, thinks like that, uh, the lobby of love will be greater. Nobody, nobody denied Jesus. I didn't hear that somebody uh, changed religion. Even all persons, uh, ch children, uh, 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 a girl of, uh, of seven years, uh, she said, I'll never deny Jesus, never. So they left everything, they lose everything, but they kept their faith. Yes, every day I saw this miracle. This is a big miracle. I think our Iraqi Christians are better than the apostles because when Jesus was crucified, all the apostles uh, went and their chief, St. Peter, he, he denied Jesus. But our Christians, I, th I think they were stronger than him. We are proud. This is the work of many generations of apostles, of sisters, of nuns, of teachers, of uh, money, money, money. You know, I was ordained priest in 1980. 1980. So it's uh, since uh, uh, 35 years. Uh, in, in my ordination, there were a very old woman. She came to my ordination and she wanted to kiss my hand because we kissed the hand of the new ordained priest. And I recognized her. She was my teacher of catechism when I was a child. She forgot. So I said, no, please let me kiss your hand because you were my teacher and because you gave me a good catechism. So I became a priest. Thank you. Oh, she was, she was happy to see that her work gave fruit. She didn't know. We don't know what will be the fruit of our deed, our job. We don't know. Only God knows. So in, we have in Arabic a saying, he says, do good and throw it in the river. It, don't look after. Don't ask if, if it will help. No. 
God will distribute your good things. So I think this gave give me very big, uh, uh, very big consolation. Even if the situation is is very difficult, but we have many reason to be consolated, to be happy, and to be happy in Christ. Saint Paul says, "Be happy in Jesus, not for everything else." Always Christianity is incarnated in persons. Jesus said, there will be a time they come from east and from west and they sit on the table of the uh, Son of God. I think another kind of Christians will rise. I hope that the seats are already prepared. Many persons, many persons are living an underground Christianity, catacomb Christianity. In, in our history of Rome, we couldn't imagine that Rome one day will go, will come out of the tombs. We are like them. They waited 313 years to, to take Rome by faith. And it happened. The Supreme Pontiff was the name of the emperor who persecuted the Christians. It became the name of the Pope. So I think uh, what Jesus said, the, the heavens and the earth can disappear, but my word Never. So I believe in, in, in that Jesus uh, will overcome. We are a church of martyr. Our patriarch, his sultan, is red. Because since the fourth century, our church didn't stop to give martyrs to the church. And we are proud. The Christians in Europe, they, they must awake. They must awake and be aware of uh, they are blessed by a peace of 70 years. This is not donated like that. This is built on efforts of multiple money, intelligent and suffering and the blood of soldiers, American soldiers, who protected, who defended Europe from Nazi, from uh, the civil war in Spain. Those people who died for you, don't forget them. But those people who are now dying in man multiple areas in the world, those also, you must think of them. It's not a question of money. It's a question of solidarity and this solidarity must be translated into facts. So maybe gathering, individualism in Europe is a curse. M many people can die in their apartment three, three months or three years later, they know they did. So uh, individualism must, must be a uh, struggle against. You must struggle against individualism. Community is also difficult now, forming community. So maybe vocations to our religious communities also are weak because of this individualism. Everybody wants to have the most uh, important uh, iPhone or uh, iPad uh, and to live, to live free and to have uh, only what he likes to do. It's not possible for everybody. Somebody must pay. Who will pay? This is the question. We are paying now. We are paying the, uh, the, uh, the ignorance, the illiterism. We are paying for many things happened in those decades, last five decades. But I think 
I think if if we form form uh, a group, Jesus formed disciples and he formed a group, and he sent them to preach, not only to preach a uh, God in uh, in the air, but to preach the, the how to use and how to help the the person, human person, the right of human person. This is important.